Keeping track of the items you have in your on-hand inventory is critical in the bridal business. Bridal Lab's physical inventory feature helps you make quick work of this often tedious task. Before you can begin using the physical inventory feature, your user's role must have the physical inventory security permission. To assign the permission, click Settings, Users and Security, User Roles, and make sure your user's role has the physical inventory permission assigned. You will need to log out and log in again for these changes to take effect. Now that your user has permissions to do the physical inventory, let's see how it works. To get started, log into Bright Alive and click on the physical inventory link under Inventory. If this is the first time you've clicked the link, or if you don't already have a physical inventory in progress, you'll see the Start Physical Inventory button. Click this button to begin your physical inventory. So let's pause for a moment and talk about the fastest way to do a physical inventory. The best way is to use a barcode scanner and scan the barcodes that print out from the Bride Alive program on the labels. And since you'll be walking around the store scanning your items, you will either need to connect your scanner to a laptop or use a Bluetooth barcode scanner for more of a mobile scanning solution. Using the Bluetooth scanner with an iPad is probably the most portable solution there is. To speed things up even more, you can have more than one person scanning items. You would just need to have two scanners and two computers or iPads. Also, you'll probably want to perform a physical inventory outside of business hours so that your on-hand inventory is not changing while you're scanning your items. All right, so when you arrive at the screen, the barcode option is going to be turned on by default, so you can just begin scanning items. However, if you don't have a scanner, then you can toggle this option off and enter the item names manually instead. Let's start scanning some items to see how this works. As I scan the items, they will be added to the list below. You'll notice that you can update the colors and size. If for some reason Bridal Life thinks you have a different color and or size than what you really have on the floor, then you'll want to update this and reprint the label if necessary. The idea is to just move throughout the store scanning items. Don't worry, adjustments to the quantity on hand of your items are not made until you click the Finish button. And we'll discuss that more later. If you happen to come across an item identical to one that you've already scanned, you would just scan it a second time and Bridal Lab will recognize that you've already scanned another item just like it and increase the quantity on hand accordingly. This is handy for things that you have multiple of, you know, spanks, garters, jewelry sets, other things like that in the store. But be careful not to scan the items twice that you just have one of because Bridal Lab will not know that you don't really have two of those items in your store. Bright Alive only keeps 10 items on the screen at a time. If you need to review the items that you've scanned beyond the first 10, you would just need to click the arrows at the bottom. Now let's talk about the buttons across the top. The Save for Later button is available if you need to stop doing the physical inventory and jump to something else. All of your previously scanned items will be saved. The discard button will essentially cancel this physical inventory count and erase all of the scanning history and there will be no impact to your inventory. After you've scanned all of the items in your store or if you're doing a partial inventory, you would click the finish button. You will then be asked how you would like to finish the physical inventory. You have two options. First, you can set the quantity on hand to zero for all items that were not scanned. This is how you would normally finish a physical inventory after scanning every item in the store. Secondly, you could leave unscanned items unchanged. This option is useful when you only want to update the items that you've already scanned. And this feature is rarely used, but it would come in handy if let's say you've forgotten to scan some items and you've previously reset all the quantity on hands to zero, and now you need to go back and scan some additional items um, that you found maybe in a corner somewhere that you'd forgotten to scan then you would do that and Bridal Lab would only update the quantity on hand for those newly scanned items. Finally, click the finish button just once. It might take a minute to process, but it's doing a lot of work in the background. Bridal Lab will begin updating your inventory levels and any color and size changes that you've made. When it's done, you'll see a success message at the top and you'll know that you've successfully performed a physical inventory. And this concludes the physical inventory tutorial.